What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 12 of our Python with NLTK for Natural Language Processing tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be building on the last video which is kind of starting up the processing for our Naive Bayes algorithm for classifying text as being either positive or negative using the movie reviews data set. So moving along, we've, we've got all the way up to this point where we basically get all of the words in the movie reviews data set. And then we've also got some documents that we can use for training. Uh, so let's go ahead and I've, I've commented out these two things. I'm actually just gonna remove them and I'm gonna remove this too. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and get started down here. So first of all, we need, um, we wanna have some sort of limit on the amount of words. So right now we have this frequency distribution of all words and the frequency distribution is ordered from the most common word to the least common word and the amount. It's like a keys and values basically. And so you've got, um, it's a huge, huge amount of words and we don't actually, if we could train against all the words but we, it'd probably be relatively useless. So we wanna kinda limit this a little bit. So we're gonna say word underscore features equals the list of all underscore words dot keys. We're not really focused too much on the values, like how many there are. And we're just gonna say we wanna uh, use up to the top 3,000 words that we're gonna check against. So if you remember in the last video we did the top 15, well the top 15 words were kind of meh because a lot of them were empty words like the, a, and a lot of stuff was like punctuation like periods, commas, and dashes. So we obviously don't really want that stuff included, but this will be good enough to encompass a lot of words that are commonly used and then we can train against these top 3,000 words, finding out which word is most common in negative and which word is most common in positive uh, reviews. So that'll be the word features. Now we actually want to have some sort of quick function that is going to uh, find those features within the document that we're, we're using. So let's come on down here. And now we're going to say, so define find features and we're going to find these features by searching in a document and that document is going to be part of these documents soon and we'll pass them through so within the document it's going to find features and we're going to say words equals the set of document so the document if you recall is the just going to be a, the first part of the tuple is just a list of words so when we convert something a list to a set we get only one basically iteration of any unique element so we don't have many iterations we just this is basically all the words not the amount of those words but every single word will be included in this set of words so we've got that now we're going to say features equals and this will be just a empty dictionary for now and we'll say 4w in word underscore features so that's for the word in these top 3,000 words we're going to say in this features dictionary, the, um, the key that is the word in these 3,000 most popular words is going to be equal to the Boolean value for W in words. So this, is, this creates a Boolean of either true or false. So if the word, if the, one of these top 3,000 words is within this document, that this will ring true. If it's not, this will ring false. So that's how we find those features. And then at the very, very end of this, after we've run that, we're just gonna return features. So now let's test this new function. And we're gonna do something like this, like print, and then we can do, we wanna print the result of font, not fund, find features of, and we wanna do this for movie underscore reviews dot words of the following. Uh, let's search in the negative data set and the first one is CV000 underscore 29416.txt. So then uh, we'll do that and then we'll call something, we'll say feature, let's see, feature underscore, and we'll call it feature sets like this, equals, and this will be a list, and then it will be um, find features for the, for the various review, whatever we're putting through, and the category, category uh, for the review and category in documents. So this one-liner makes a little bit more sense to use for me. But basically the feature set is going to be 
the find features and the categories. So we're kind of con we're going to end up converting. And in fact, let me run this while I'm talking since this kind of takes a while sometimes. So what we're going to end up doing is converting um, the data. So each data set, again, each document is going to be the review and just the words and then the category. And what this is going to do for us is it's going to convert that to not a review, but find features. So it'll convert, before it was just the words, now it'll be the revert, the words with true or false. So it'll be a dictionary of the top 3,000 words and whether or not they're contained in each review, and then the categories. So now what we can do is using these top 3,000 words, this is starting to build what we're going to be able to test against and train against is the existence of words and, and their impact on whether or not something is positive or negative. So uh, now that we have that, let's kind of pop over here so you can see what I mean. So feature set, so first we printed the find features. So find features, movie reviews, You that this is doing what this little bit right here will do followed by category. So this has a contain, you know, contains basically all the words. So let's see if we can find a true. Most of these are false, like it doesn't contain any of these words. Let's just search for a true, see if it has one. Okay, so it does have one up here and it's the word is before. So before is one of the top 3,000 most common words. This contains it. And this is a negative review. So you might actually find that before is far more common to appear in negative reviews as we go on. But we'll see. Uh, and it may or may not be. But anyway, we can close this out now. And we'll, we'll go ahead and cut off the review, or the, the review, the tutorial at this point, and we'll continue building on uh, the algorithm in the next review. We'll actually probably be able to build the, te or the training and the testing, maybe just the training, but we'll probably be able to get to that point in the next tutorial. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or comments up to this point, we kind of ran through a few things pretty quick, but I, hopefully I explained it pretty well. If you have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.